I'll pick something like the 60s TV show Star Trek. <laughs> Look, you may laugh, but uh, for me, it's, there's, it's, it's not about aliens being blasted from the sky, blinking, you know, the captain of Klingon bird of prey, you know, all phases, Mr. Sulu. No, it's, there's a lot of other stuff going on in that, in that TV show. Okay, maybe some examples? Well, for one, the Lieutenant Uhura um, ex- uh, character. The fact that she was on the bridge. Star Trek, there seemed to be this wonderful workplace equality in the show. Uh, I believe Dr. Martin Luther King himself said to Nichelle Nichols that she represents the future. And I believe he was right. An African woman treated with fairness, a voice in the workplace that is not patronised or undermined. Yeah, Uhura, you are my soul sister and I will fight for you. That's, that was the attitude. There is no doubt in my mind that if Kirk and Spock got wasted with the hapless like away mm. team, and there were times I wish that would happen, that Uhura could have quite easily snuggled into the captain's chair. Yes, would, would have loved to have seen that too. But dude, you are focusing on a cheap old TV show and surely that is illusion. Well, what I focus on is the underlying spirit of the, of the creators, the underlying spirit of the eighth, the underlying spirit of the writers. And I might add there was a, write, a female writer called DC Fontana, and she was one, and that is what I champion. Um, like George Harrison, it's the, it's the way they use their art in a creative way to illustrate you know, the changes, the, the change food for a hungry world. Mm-hmm.